Hi guys, this is Klazart with an audio commentary, and this time I'm commentating on the World Cyber Games qualifiers in Korea, the National Korean Championships. This is the round of 16. We've got Bisu versus Free on Outsider in game one. We've got Free in teal at what looks like the 12 o'clock position and Bisu in red at the 9 o'clock position. Now, before I really jump into this commentary, I just wanted to take a quick second to say I've uh, listened to all your feedback, guys, on the uh, speed talking uh, debate. And uh, suffice it to say, I'm, I'm, as with all feedback I get from you guys, I'm taking it on board and uh, incorporating and hoping to improve um, the commentaries I produce for you guys uh, as I continue and go on to do them. So um, just want to let you guys know that the issue is on hand and I'm li I've listened carefully to both sides of the debate. So uh, let's just jump into this game right here. Bisu versus Free. Um, this is actually a huge matchup because uh, for a player like Free who hasn't really won anything major, he really wants to uh, get there. He really wants to defeat Bisu and try and get into the latter stages of the World uh, Cyber Games Korean Championships with the Koreans, even though the World Cyber Games themselves uh, usually tend to be a foregone conclusion with the three Korean players that entered uh, seeming to decide amongst themselves how they're going to make it to the last four and then fighting it out for the winner's, winner's spot. Um, the Korean championships themselves are hotly contested because there's a lot of pride in representing your country as there should be and it just sh shows how seriously the Korean players and fans take their StarCraft uh, and, and that is why it truly is an eSport in Korea. Both players starting out with the gateway, however Free looks like he's sending his scout a lot earlier than Bisu but it looks like he might unfortunately be scouting in the wrong direction. Bisu meanwhile has taken his assimilator, Free just now putting his assimilator. So both players are similar builds. Bisu on the other hand, um, I'm not sure what I can say about him that hasn't already been said. He's had his era of dominance where he was the player to beat. Even now, he is one of the players to beat. He's arguably the best Protoss player playing right now. I'm sure Stork fans would have something to say about that, but I just feel that despite Stork's recent triumphs and achievements, I just feel that Bisu is that little bit further ahead, uh, and he was instrumental in helping SK Team 1 take the Pro League Finals uh, a week or two ago. Uh, and now Bisu, uh, despite the fact that he scouted later than Free uh, due to the luck of the draw, is going to actually end up scouting Free first uh, and getting his probe into Free's base. Free's probe just about now arriving in Bisu's base. It shouldn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, both players able to get their get their scouts in. Both players uh, starting off with, with uh, relatively similar builds, uh, one gateway and, and uh, the assimilator. And it'll be interesting to see how uh, Bisu plays this. Bisu's Protoss versus Protoss is incredibly strong. Uh, second only to his Protoss versus Zerg. Obviously, he's known uh, for being a Zerg killer, but he's incredibly tough to beat in any matchup. As I said, he's been there, he's done everything. I think the one thing he hasn't done, obviously, and that's why he would be placing a huge emphasis on this championship, is he hasn't really uh, gone and won the World Cyber Games for Korea, as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure he hasn't. So that's something that he would want to add. That's the feather he would want to add in his cap. Um, he's got a bunch of MSL crowns. Um, uh, and really, he would love to add that that prestigious World Cyber Games Championship. I think any major pro gamer in Korea wants to add that. Any any player who is, is, likes to be considered a bonjour uh, would like to have that. So two Zealots now out for free, just trying to uh, get rid of that probe of Bisu's that's continued to harass uh, and just scout around. Uh, Freeze probe also in Bisu's base still. Uh, I haven't seen a Cybernetics core go down for either player. I think I saw, yeah, cyber, sorry, Cybernetics core have go has gone down for both players. Sorry, I missed that. So both players with their Cybernetics core down, so the first Dragoon should probably be popping out. And and really, I feel that for a player like Free to beat Bisu, I feel he has to either have some sort of advantage or he has to do something different. I don't feel, and perhaps uh, I'm being unfair to Free a little bit here, and Bisu cleverly uh, blocking his ramp with his two Zealots to prevent Free's probe from escaping so that his Dragoon can take it down. Uh, Free, meanwhile, has taken B uh, Bisu's probe down in his base as well. I don't feel that Free can take out Bisu in a normal game. Uh, if both players are going with the exact same strategy, I just feel that Bisu's superior multitasking will tell at the end of the day. Uh, Free now putting up his robotics facility down, having taken out Bisu's probe. I, I suspect Bisu will be doing something similar. It'll be interesting to see if he does. And there looks like there's some StarCraft fans, some Western StarCraft fans in the audience who are huge Bisu fans. Excellent poster. Um, that's brilliant. It's great to see. And, and uh, it's great to see it happening more and more frequently these days. I, I remember way back when um, I first started commenta commentating a couple years ago, uh, it used to be huge to see even a single Western player, uh, Western fan in the audience, and we would just go on about how amazing it was. Whereas I think these days it's almost a daily occurrence, and I think that just goes to show you uh, the wide appeal of StarCraft. And I'm really surprised, guys, that no one in the West, no major company or broadcaster or, or tournament organizer, has really picked up on it and try and uh, tried to. Uh, harness that, especially with StarCraft 2 coming around the corner. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm hoping uh, and believing that with StarCraft 2, all that shall change. Uh, 
Free, meanwhile, has just started up his robotic support bay. Bisu's robotic facility is also up. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether Bisu puts the robotic support bay down first or whether he's gone for that observatory. Uh, and it looks like he's gone for the robotic support bay as well. Um, the interesting thing, though, even though I feel that Bisu's got the superior multitasking uh, and the superior uh, gameplay mechanics against Free, Free is no slouch. He is capable of beating Bisu. Uh, on his day, he has beaten Bisu in the past, and uh, he can he can take the series against Bisu. So Bisu cannot afford to be complacent. And really, um, if the, if one can level a criticism of Bisu, I mean, the, there there are some people who might say it's slump or his reign is over. Certainly, his reign is no longer there. He's certainly no longer the dominant player he was on the scene. There are other players who are competing and contending with him for that title. And Bisu with the dragoon, just uh, making sure that Free doesn't try and sneak a probe in through the through the back door, try and get some more scouting information. And observatory now going down for free and Bisu as well, so both players with completely mirror builds, and for some reason Protoss versus Protoss I find to be the most exciting mirror matchup, even though a lot of times uh, you do end up seeing mirror builds, uh, and, and there's a chance of both players doing exactly the same thing, but I do feel that there's more room for excitement simply because of a Reaver Micro and, and 